welcome back to my channel and today's video is about the travel again so we are going to walk a night today and right now is 2 a.m in the morning so we will go from here at 2 sharp and then we will arrive after seven hours which is uh, around like 10 a.m in uh, 10 a.m in the morning so or 9 to 10 a.m in the morning depends because we will stop at some of the places to rest and we will go some of the places in Wakanai. so um if you're if you guys interested please watch until the end don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you have any suggestion or comment so let's get into it first stop which is Cape Noshapu uh, which located in the northwest part of Hokkaido Island and this is actually the one of the most popular tourist attractions here in Wakanai area because they have the lighthouse over here is the second highest lighthouse in Japan and also they have the beautiful open sea like this and if the weather is good you can see the Rishiri and Rebun island from here and also you can see one small island part of Russia from here because it's located right opposite, opposite of this island and in this place it's not only this open sea but they have the as I said the lighthouse the souvenir shop and if you want to go fishing this is the one of the perfect place to do fishing and what I can suggest you is you need to come early in the morning because there's not a lot of people so you can spend a lot of time here to take a picture and do a lot of things hey guys so finally we arrived at uh what is it what can i park so in this place it's not only park but they have the monu monument also and they have the memorial park as well so make sure you visit here and um the unique uh, part is you are going up and then you can see like uh, like open sea over there and then you can take a picture right behind you in the is the sea so it's so which is pretty good and pretty cool for me guys as you can see behind me is the observation deck so you can go up to see uh, from the top and as you can see behind me also over there is the air defense base since this Wakanai is really close to Russia and then this is the border to Russia so they put it here to detect some of the for example the a jet or the plane or the suspicious thing in the in the sky so they can detect it right away so that's why and then this is the very interesting place as well so you must visit <laughs> Hyosotsunomon is uh, right uh, below the observation deck and so this is the monument that made for the um, southern Karafuto uh, people that lost there and uh, because before it was on Japanese control but after the Soviet uh, attack they being uh, under Russia and then now called Sakhalin Island and uh, it was built in 1964 this monument and it's the gate is eight meters tall and then in in front is right away the two meters 
a female statue which looking up to the heaven and then uh, it's like she hoped to the heaven for the rebuild for the mercy for the people that lost and died in the Karafuto Island so this is the interesting statue for me and then with a lot of meaning behind it and then right on the left side of the monument Kuni no Otome no Hi which memorial monument also for the nine maiden telephone operators who gave their lives at Karafuto Island and this uh, monument is built for the honor of the ladies the nine maiden uh, who perished in the line of duty as uh, at the Maoka uh, post office in Karafuto so now I'm in the uh, breakwater dome uh, so it's only eight minutes from the Wakanai Park. So you can see the observation deck right behind me. So, so it's quite interesting because the tourist attractions is close to each other. So it, it will be easier for you to uh, reach the places. So then and make sure to uh, go uh, as early as early as possible so you can reach everywhere. destination already uh, so it's only 25 minutes around from Cape Soya and it's only like this you can see the hills you can see the road is made made from seashell and it's so cute like it's, it's all white so yeah <laughs> in Hokuryu sunflower village uh, so here the sunflower plant around me this year because of COVID-19 they don't plant a lot because it should be like 1.5 million um, sunflowers plant so it's only like this much because we asked before and then they said okay at the back of the onsen area they um, plant this one so thanks to that guy, so we can still see the sunflower. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this trip. Uh, if you have any comment or question or suggestions, please kindly comment down below. And then don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!